We're going to talk a little bit about metric prefixes. Knowing the metric prefixes and what they mean will be really useful to you when you start doing unit conversions or dimensional analysis. And so we apply these prefixes to standard measurements. And if you'll recall, the standard measurement for weight is the gram, the standard measurement for volume is the liter, and the standard measurement for length is the meter. So if you look at these metric prefixes, tera, giga, mega, kilo, hecto, deca, are all larger than the standard, and you can tell that because the factors are non-decimal, and deci, centi, milli, micro, nano, and pico are all smaller than the standard measure. That's something you want to keep in mind because sometimes you might look at something and the measurement's not going to make sense to you. If you are doing a conversion and it says that, you know, there are 0.5 centimeters in one meter, you're going to think, wait a minute, but centimeters are smaller than meters. So you need to kind of bear that in mind for when you're trying to think about whether or not your calculations and what you've ended up with as the answer makes sense. You should know which prefixes mean larger than the standard and which mean smaller than the standard. They can also be used to make those calculations. So if you have one kilometer, kilo means a thousand, the factor is a thousand. So you know you have one times one thousand meters equals one kilometer. Likewise, if you have one centimeter, centi is a factor of a hundredth. And so you have one times one hundredth meters is equal to a centimeter. That means if you have one meter, you have a hundred centimeters. Because if you divide both sides by 0 0.01, you'll get 100 centimeters. So if you use these prefixes and look at the prefixes and know the factors, you'll be able to determine how many microliters are in a liter or how many gigagrams are how many grams are in a gigagram. So these prefixes are very useful for you to know.